If you play live in a wide variety of venues, you know how interference can be a problem for an electric guitar. One way to reduce the buzz is to shield the electronics cavity in the back of the guitar, and the easiest way to do that is to coat it with some conductive shielding paint. Unfortunately, commercially made conductive shielding paint can be rather expensive. Here's how you can save money and make your own. All you need is some powdered graphite lubricant and a bottle of water-based acrylic craft paint. Links are in the description below. To make it, all you have to do is mix the graphite into the acrylic paint. The ratio is a bit of a crapshoot, but you can start with about three teaspoons of graphite to about one ounce of paint. Mix the powder into the paint thoroughly until it has the consistency of pancake batter. However, before you can paint the inside of your electronics cavity, you need to test the mixture for continuity. Start by painting a strip of the mixture onto a piece of scrap wood and let it dry. You can test with a multimeter that has a continuity test feature, or you can do what I did. Take a nine volt battery with a power clip, leave the positive red wire free and connect the negative black wire to one of the legs of a mini LED bulb. Leave the other leg of the bulb free. Tape the stripped end of the positive red wire to one end of the dried paint strip. Then touch the free leg of the LED bulb to the other end of the strip. If it lights up, you've got continuity. If it doesn't, add more graphite to the paint and retest until the bulb lights. Once you have continuity, go ahead and paint the inside of the electronics cavity. Two coats should be enough. And that's a cheap and easy way to make your own conductive shielding paint.